how much I use in order to potentially become a crypto millionaire. In today's video, let's find out. However, before I continue on any further, please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. These are all just hypothetical scenarios and there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. In addition, I think it should be noted how the current circulating supply of AOs is sitting at around 1 billion. So just take into consideration that as the supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. But with that being said, my first price target for AOs is $10, which is a 25x from here. And at that point, you would need to own 100,000 AOs to become a millionaire, which is currently worth $40,000. Now, some people may be thinking, whoa, that's a lot. And I agree. A lot of people, they don't have nowhere near that much in their portfolio just in general. But in my opinion, again, $10 is still 25 extra from here. So I don't think it's that bad. You know, for instance, if let's say I don't have that much to put in and let's say I just put in 1000 And for instance, if AOS were to go to the price of $10, 25x, at that point, I would have managed to turn by $1,000 into 25000 now, it's not going to make anyone a millionaire, of course, very far from it, but still, 25x is not that bad at the end of the day, at least in my opinion, not financial advice. Now, my next price target for AOs is $12.50. Now, the reason for that is because it's much easier for the calculations. Ideally, I would put this at like $14 or $15, but yeah, again, it's just for simplicity's sake. But besides that point, at the price of $12.50, you would need to own at that point 80,000 AOs, which is currently worth $32,000. Now, some people may think that this is crazy, but I don't because I think this is hypothetically very realistic for AOs during this war run. And the reason I think it's going to come down to its amazing fundamentals. You know, after all, the AOs network is a decentralized physical infrastructure network for Web3, AI, storage, and as well as streaming. Now, some people may think that this is kind of caca, but I disagree because let's break this down. And I think that by the end of it, I think people might probably just understand how special it is. Because as we all know, first of all, focus on AI. Now, a lot of the hype did die down. That can't be denied. There's not that many fans when it comes to AI projects currently. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be down forever because I think better days are ahead. You know, according to Grandview Research, the AI market is anticipated to be worth nearly $2 trillion by 2030. So that's very crazy. That's bigger than a lot of countries' GDP. So if you think about it, Sure, AI again may not have the hype that it once used to, but I think once it does make a comeback, I think it's going to be even more amazing than what we saw previously. Now, also on top of that, you take a look at how AOS is focused on storage. Now, more specifically, it's focused on decentralized data storage, which I think does bring a lot of benefits because, for instance, a lot of data storage nowadays, highly centralized, usually controlled by big tech giants, in some cases by a single entity, and in some cases as well, there's usually these multiple single points of failure. So I think these are drawbacks that people might not like. Now, what is a cure, so to speak? That's decentralization, because through that, it's pretty much gone, all of these you know, drawbacks, so to speak. So isn't AOS focused on such an amazing thing? Now, you got to think about this. Data storage isn't some random market that has no potential, because that's not the case. You know, as a matter of fact, according to Fortune Business Insights, the global data storage market size could be worth nearly $800 billion again by 2030. So this is crazy. Also on top of that, we take a look at streaming. Now, some people like to clown this. They like to say that, oh yeah, this sucks, man. But no, I disagree. Being focused on streaming, I think is a genius move by AOS because you take a look at how, yet again, according to Grandview Research, because they like to predict things, they do predict that by 2030, the video streaming market size is expected to be worth over $400 billion. Now, this potential may not be as great as the, you know, data storage market or the, you know, AI market, but I still think it's amazing potential nonetheless. And again, I think AOS is pretty much a complete package. Now, in a sense, AOS is also somewhat focused on NFTs. Now, even though people don't really think about this when they think about AOS, I still think it's a good addition because I'm probably going to have to say this and people are going to be like, oh, wow, again. But again, according to Grandview Research, by 2030, the NFT market is predicted to be worth over $200 billion. So yeah, AOS, they pretty much strike gold with all the markets that they're focused on. You know, the markets that they're focused on may not necessarily be the most hyped as of right now, but it definitely does have a lot of hypothetical potential in the future. And I love that when it comes to AOS, because once the wave for NFTs, you know, AI, you know, decentralized data storage, 
streaming jumps back in again, guess who's going to be there to catch the wave? It's going to be something like AOs that's sitting there waiting in the wings because I think it's much better anticipating a wave as opposed to chasing one. So I think they're in a prime position for future success, hypothetically speaking, which is why, again, I think that $12.50 isn't crazy for AOs during this bull run. And also, not to mention, it has amazing partnerships with NVIDIA, Alibaba Cloud, Google for startups. Shout out to Google. Also on top of that, even Qualcomm as well. These are very real deal entities. So when it comes to AOs, again, $12.50, I don't see why not. Now, my next price target for AOs is $16. Now, at that point, to become a millionaire, you would need to own 62,500 AOs, which at the time of this recording is worth $25,000. Now, people also may think this is crazy, but I disagree because if it were to go to the price of $16, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $18 billion. Not too bad. I mean, for instance, we've seen SHIB reach around 40. We've seen Doge reach over 80 billion. We've also even seen BNB reach over $100 billion in market cap. I mean, come on, this isn't really too much in the grand scheme of things. We also take into consideration how just last year, in 2023, according to Crypto.com research, slightly over 2% of the crypto hacks that happened actually occurred on the BNB smart chain ecosystem. So is that really that great? Personally speaking, I don't really think so. Now, that's just my opinion. But if something like BNB can reach over 100 billion, you know, Doge can reach over 80 ship can reach around 40. Why is AO is going to around, you know, in this case, around 18 billion, too much to ask for. I don't think it's crazy at all, especially during this bull run. Now, my next and final price target for AOs is $20, which I'm standing by. Now, some people may think this is crazy again, but I disagree because first of all, before I get into that, I do want to mention how at that point to become a millionaire, you will need to own 50,000 AOs and that is currently worth $20,000. But yeah, besides that point, again, why is $20 not insane in my opinion? It's because I think this bull run could be so special. Over 600 million crypto owners, according to Crypto.com research, that's more than ever before in history. So that's amazing. I think that could very well be a very positive indicator for the potential FOMO buying pressure and buying volume that we could see this time around. Also, you take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors. I mean, it's amazing. So that, of course, is going to contribute to Bitcoin reaching great heights, 150,000. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And I think if it were to do that during this bull run, I think the altcoin season is naturally, hypothetically, going to be very legendary. At that point, AOs at the price of $20, I don't see why not. And of course, it's going to take some time though, because it's not going to happen like tomorrow or two days, in my opinion, or like next week. Typically, that's not how it works. Usually altcoins, they peak anywhere between half a year to year and a half after a Bitcoin halving event. The Bitcoin halving event, of course, happened back in April. So that's anywhere between October this year to October next year which I don't think is so bad. I mean, really, it's not really waiting that much longer. Let's say even worst case scenario, October next year, that's a little bit over a year from right now. Not so bad. If anything, it's actually more time for me to accumulate. So why not? And my strategy is very simple. It's dollar cost averaging, just acquiring any time and income, holding and just waiting. That's it. I'm focused on consistent accumulation as opposed to day trading using leverage or swing trading. That's just not my style. I don't really like to do that. You know, I'm not into drawing random, you know, underwear on a price chart, triangles, looking at the price chart every two minutes, two hours. That's just not my style. Again, I like to keep things simple, dollar cost averaging. That's the way to go for me. And $20 during this bull run wouldn't surprise me whatsoever when it comes to AOS. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's going to leave the captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm on peace. Bye.